And Jamie Lee joins us live this morning via satellite from Los Angeles where it's very early. How are you? I'm, all, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm wearing flowers because of your flower festival. See? Ah, look at you. You're a garden. A garden. I'm resplendent in flowers. <laughs> uh, you must be thrilled with the idea of being able to be with your family while you're working. Is that true? Well, that's one of the main reasons I did it. Um, you know, I have a little tuna, two and two, two years old, two months, and it allows me to stay home and do what I like to do all at the same time. So but it's you, a great job. You know, Jamie Lee, a lot of stars say that sitcoms and any kind of, of series is, is an exhausting process. You really are there all day, every day. People don't realize that. I'm sorry, I missed that question. You still work a full week. I mean, you're away from your child probably longer than most working mothers are away from their children, right? Isn't that still part of it? Well, b part of the reason why I'm doing a TV series is so that I can try to minimize how much time I'm away from my family. Um, it's very difficult, obviously, to be away from a baby at all, and this minimizes it as much as possible. Do you take the baby to the set with you? Uh, you know what? I always looked at taking somebody to work with me. I don't have my husband come to work with me. I don't have my child come to work with me. It'd be like having a dentist have their children sitting there watching them going, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I, 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 when I go to work, it'd be like having your kids watch you. I, I try to go to work, I try to do my work, and then I go home and try to do that. You know, you don't seem to play by the rules in this business, and yet you survive. I mean, most people don't feel that they can have the strength of commercials, major films, and television. I mean, you're doing everything. Are there, it seems like you broke all the rules, and, you, and you're winning at it. I can barely hear you, but I think I heard it. You know, the, as far as I'm concerned, my career has never been something that is played by the rules and I try not to play by the rules too much in anything. I think that you can create whatever you want it to be. I am not a snob. I try not to be a snob about what I do. I try to do the best things I can do and try not to embarrass myself in public too many times. But um, other than that, I just try to take the best jobs that come along when they come. You know, your mom and dad, I mean, there's no, it's no secret that your mother was Janet Lee and your father is Tony Curtis. I mean, they didn't take you to a set with them when you were growing up, or did they? I mean, do you have strong opinions about how someone in the industry should treat their children because of the way you were treated? Well, I don't think that parents in the industry should really have their children necessarily go into the movie industry. I mean, I think it's a wonderful industry, and it's certainly been very good for me. Um, I would not steer her away if it was something that she, my daughter really, really wanted to do, but I'm, I'm certainly not going to encourage it because it's also a business of a lot of heartache. And, um, you know, I, I don't, obviously as a mother, you don't want your children to ever have heartache. That's right, and not everyone wins as big as you're winning and does as well as you're doing. Uh, talk about your husband, Christopher Guest, and how he must be thrilled with what you're doing now, is he? Oh, is Chris happy yeah. about my work? I'm sorry, I, you're really sounding like Deborah Winger and Kathleen <laughs> Turner in here, both who <laughs> have hangovers, and both are on in a helicopter, hanging outside it naked by their ankles. That's what you sound like right God, now. God, is this fun? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, how about um, Chris? He's very, you know, he, it has allowed, it hopefully will allow me to stay home and be a wife more than I've been in the last year simply because of the amount of traveling I've done. He's very happy. He's been working. He's directed a movie that is coming out in April called The Big Picture. So he's real busy. We're both busy. How about the Hertz campaign? Because people love it. It's funny. It's, uh, it's good. You're so prominent in it. Uh, was there any, um, was it a tough decision for you to make to take on this kind of major campaign? That I told that time you sounded like Elmer Fudd <laughs> having sex with Betty Boop. I don't know. It's like wild going on in here. It uh, hurts. Read you my sound lips. like you're on drugs. It's amazing. Jamie Lee, cut it out. I'm, t I'm telling you the absolute truth. I can barely understand a word you're saying. Let me spell it. H e r t z. H e r t z. Oh, hurts commercial. That's it. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Um, you know, it was, I'd never thought of doing a commercial, and early on in my career as an actress, I never did commercials. And when they came up to me, I, I always thought, if I ever did one, that I didn't want to have to sell something. And what I really liked about the spots... Uh-oh. Spokesperson. What? I've got to go. Well, people are going like this to me, yeah. which either means that you're having some sort of chicken bone thing going on and I don't know and I'm feeling bad <laughs> that I'm continuing to talk to you, 
or I should just shut up, which I will do right now. Bye, Jamie Lee. We're losing you. Boy, are we losing you.